IAS, IPS and IFS are the All India Services created under the AIS Act 1951. Each year, Government of India recruits these officers and their services are placed under various state and union territory cadres. The officers are mandated to serve both the cadre, state and the centre on deputation. Their services are paramount for policy formulation and implementation. Officers serve few years in states and gain field experience. On central deputation, their fresh inputs, domain expertise and knowledge of best practices are utilised in policy formulation and managing important departments or organisations of Government of India. The movement of officers from state to centre and vice versa is paramount for functioning of centre and state both. It also enables the professional growth of the officers. Any diversion from this constitution mandate hampers the governance and disturbs the development process. Over the years, there has been a drastic decline in AIS officers' representation in Government of India. The number of IAS officers in Central Deputation Reserve has gone down from 309 in 2011 to 223 at present. CDR of IAS should be 40% of the total cadre strength, but it was only 25% in 2011 and further reduced to 18% at present. The void so created adversely affects the governance process at the centre. To address this issue, the government has proposed amendments in the existing AIS cadre rules. Seeking to attain parity in AIS representation in centre and state, these amendments will make the governance process more efficient and strengthen the cooperative federalism.